Good morning from the Disney Springs bus board. We are here today because we're doing another revisit on one of our resort tours. Today, we're headed down to Port Orleans Riverside. I haven't been there in a while. I'm excited to see if anything has changed. Just have a quick look around. So let's head to bus stop number two and get on board. Ooh, king of the bus, king of the bus. I never noticed no smoking, no food or drink, or no radios on board. Also something else I didn't realize that they have free Wi-Fi on the buses. Here we are, Port Orleans Riverside. A few things on the outside of the buildings that I wanna show you first before heading into the lobby. Of course, the theming is amazing here. You got Fulton's General Store off to the left of the lobby. And just look at the colors and details of all the different buildings here. So Fulton's General Store is the kind of like sundry shop here at Port Orleans Riverside. You can see the hours are 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. But I like the theme on the outside. It says feed real big. And there's another sign over there that says grain as if this were an old feed store for the farmers around town. Now, one thing I need to try to figure out is why does it say St. Louis, Cairo, Memphis here? And then of course there's a sign there that says lobby. And up on top of this building, it's very hard to see. I saw it on the bus coming in, but there's a sign up there that says Sasagula Steamboat Company. Sasagula is the river that is behind Port Orleans Riverside. And it says Greenville here too. Is this like you could take the steamboat to these different locations? Sort of what I'm thinking, possibly. From the front lobby, there are a few things that I wanted to point out as well here underneath the Porco Cher is off to the left. So of course, Fulton's general store right there. Off to the left are the two bus stops. You've got one that takes you to, you know, Epcot, Disney Springs, things like that, and Magic Kingdom over here. You'll have to read the sign to tell you which one to go to. And then also right here is the airport shuttle departure depot. So as soon as you arrive from the airport shuttle, they drop you off right here. You can walk straight in. And of course they have bell services right here. And then off to the right, there's luggage storage over there. But right now, we're headed inside the lobby. All right, let's head inside Port Orleans Riverside. Ooh, look at the architecture in here. It's beautiful. So as soon as you walk in the front door, you've got a few things. You got Fulton's off to the left. You got River Roost, which is the bar. You got food and drink would lead you down to the different restaurants in here. You got a DVC booth with some pin trading. Straight out the back door will lead you to the river. You got Medicine Show Arcade and then registration. So the first thing you do when you come in is you check in here at registration. And I was correct. This whole room, the Sasagula Steamboat Company is the theme. And you can see these giant paddles up top acting as fans, moving back and forth, this beautiful chandelier. And then all of the different locations that you can buy a ticket on the riverboat. Sasagula Riverboat Company. And so you'll be greeted by a cast member. They'll take you over and check you in. And then of course, oh, also, before we get too far, I also wanted to point out that here at Disney's Port Orleans Riverside, there's a letterbox. This is a real letterbox. You can mail a letter from here. Certified US mail mailbox. So as long as it has a stamp on it, put it in there, it will be picked up. And then off to the side over here, just to the right of the check-in desks, we have a restroom. And here's an interesting note about these bathrooms over here is that there is a water bottle filler in here so that if you have your own refillable water bottle, you can fill them up right here. All right, back at the front entrance. Oh, look, we got some hidden Mickeys up top. Very cool. So back at the front entrance of the main lobby here, the registration, we're gonna go back out into this vestibule over here. This will be kind of like a reoccurring theme because I think we'll be coming back here very often. I like that these have these little medallions up at the top of each of these little seating areas here. We've got a riverboat, got a Native American over there, We've got a guy that makes pancakes maybe, and then you've got a five cent piece. And so this sort of makes sense. So this leads towards Fulton's. You can kind of see it in the background. This is where you go to get your food and drink. This one right here is leading back to the arcade. And then this riverboat right here leads you back to registration or the ticketing for the Sasagula Steamboat Company. And we will continue our tour in this direction. 
the Medicine Show Arcade. Also, like I said, there's a DVC booth and there's also caricatures that you could have drawn. Not currently open right now. It opens at 5 p.m. and is open until 10 p.m. So we're gonna go down this little hallway right here, which is still just the lobby. And we're gonna go to the arcade. Pop into the arcade real quick. Oh, there's an ATM right there. So just off the lobby, ATM down the Medicine Show arcade hallway. I always like how much seating there is inside of the Disney lobbies. I don't like that these are in bay windows. You get the air conditioning, but you get the view without the heat. All right, Medicine Show Arcade. No food or drink in the arcade. Operating hours, 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. And of course, at the arcade, they use an arcade card system, and you fill up your cards or buy new cards here at these machines. You can also get a fuel rod in here and a couple of pressed penny machines. Oh, Space Mickey. Okay, very cool. There's also a three massage chairs, about three massage chairs in here. This is a really large arcade for a Disney resort. Surprised by it. Wow, a lot of stuff. You can go fishing in the Wicked Tuna game. Like a whole row of pinball machines against that back wall over there. Ooh, Galaga, Miss Pac-Man, Space Invaders. Wow. Yeah, this looks like fun. Spend an entire day in here, there's so much going on. Ski ball and basketball. And a couple more massage chairs over here for the parents. There's like there's a lot of stuff going on in here. And if you're a fan of air hockey, got two air hockey tables as well. Okay, came back out to the hallway outside of the Medicine Show Arcade because we are gonna head back through the lobby and back to that vestibule that you first enter into when you get here. Back in the vestibule, looking over at Medicine Show Arcade, Turning to our left, with the entrance now to our left, this is where we came in, over here. And we're going down where it says food and drink. We're gonna see what they have down here. What are the different restaurants? And of course, they have mosaic classes, which is an extra charge. Immerse yourself in a famous art tradition as you design your own mosaic showpiece with a touch of Disney flair. 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Sundays at Boat Rights and Wednesdays at Scat Cat Lounge. And you can scan there, it costs $35, ages 12 and up. Also, directly next to this sign that I just showed you is a model of a Sasagula steamboat. There it is. This isn't a real boat, but this is a model of the boat that would be here if this were an actual place on the river, if that makes sense. Like, the story behind Sasagula steamboats is a fake story. There's not an actual company called Sasagula steamboats, but this is a model of a steamboat from the made-up story. All right, let's head down here. I'm gonna come back to River Roost. I know that the sign is here, but we'll be coming back to that. So as we pass River Roost, we head down here to Boat Rights Dining Hall. Never eaten at Boat Rights? If you have, please leave me a comment down below the like button. When we were trying to eat here, it was just after COVID and it hadn't reopened yet. So, See here, where the flavors of the South put a smile in your on your mouth. Low Country Boil, French Onion Soup Au Gratin. Ooh, Taste of the Bayou, All You Care to Enjoy Platter features hickory smoked ribs, Cajun chicken, crispy Cajun chicken, andouille sausage, and tender beef brisket. Sounds delicious. Ooh. Wow. All right. And of course, a boat ride is somebody that builds a boat. Oh, what is this? Building of Boatwright's Boat. This is a little interesting piece of Disney history right here because, so this half-built boat up here was commissioned by Walt Disney World for what used to be Dixie Landings, which is what this resort used to be called. It used to be called Dixie Landings. And so they commissioned this boat and they said that it was, they got the drawings from the Smithsonian Institute of a 46 inch lugger that was used to haul cotton up and down the Mississippi River. And so they commissioned this, this is an actual boathouse. They commissioned it and these are pictures of them actually building it for this restaurant. And they only built it halfway so that it appeared as if it was the project that was being built here at Boatwrights, which is of course, a place that builds boats 
in the story of Port Orleans. And you can see all the different tools on the wall that would be here for somebody to build a boat, for a boat right, a person that builds boats, to build a boat. A very, very interesting part of Disney history right here. Because the name change and the fact that they got the plans from the Smithsonian. They start serving dinner here at 5 p.m. And there's the sign for it up on the tail on the rudder of this skeleton of a boat. Now we are continuing our way down. This says Port Orleans Riverside, shirt and shoes required for entry. This is heading into the quick service location here at Riverside. Also, I wanted to point out there is a real fire going in there. Look at that. So I'm assuming that this, you know, boat rights is where they were building the boat and this would be where they would stop off to take a break or maybe they lived in here or this is the office part of the, of the boat building place of the boat hall. So I popped outside because here is the sign for boat rights and you can see there's a large sliding door that they could use to pull in their project boats or pull out the boats that they build. Of course these doors don't move they just have little doors down low but the whole reason that it came out here was because the quick service location didn't have a sign inside that said the name of it. This is called the Riverside Mill. So let's go inside and see what they have here. We might actually get something because it is about noon, lunchtime for me. Just a quick look around at the seating area. Lots and lots of seating in here. And of course, there is a working water mill or water wheel on the outside. And it's not really used to generate anything other than to turn these gears up here and turn this upper roof in the center over top of the beverages counter. And I don't know what this would be used for in real life. Like, what is this simulating? Some sort of mill, like a grain mill? You can see there's a screw that goes down and that's probably where the gear from outside turns it. And it just seems like it's used to turn this roof here. But that seems kind of like ornamental. Or is it not? Was there something else? that this is supposed to simulate being done. So in here, there are four different quick serve locations. You have the bakery, the grill, pizza and pasta, and salads and sandwiches. Uh, you know, at the bakery, you can get all kinds of different bakery items. Of course, the grill, you would get a grilled chicken sandwich or like a burger. And then at the pizza and pasta thing, of course, you'll get pizza and pasta. They also have breakfast items like omelets over here, vanilla and pancakes and bagel sandwiches. We can get cappuccinos and espressos over at the bakery during breakfast. And then for salads and sandwiches, for breakfast you can get the Mickey Bounty Platter or the Mickey Shaped Waffles. And then for lunch and dinner, rotating selection of homestyle favorites as well as jambalaya. I'm guessing that this has something to do with ice production. Because that's right where the ice machines are, right at the bottom of it. So, these are the different food locations over here. Also, there is a beautiful mural up here of the Riverside Mill. That's what we're inside of right now. Established in 1875 at Port Orleans. Now let's have a look and see what they have at the bakery, at the grill, at the pizza counter, and at the salads and sandwiches. Delicious baked goods. Top shelf right there. Brownies and blondies or magic bar. Ooh, of course we are still in July so we have 4th of July stuff still. And there it is. Then there's a seasonal plant-based cupcake, which is the Seize the Plant-Based Summer chocolate cupcake with a wave of vanilla buttercream and sprinkles. And then what else do we have over here? Ooh, like an apple turnover, a hot apple turnover. You can get some ice cream over here, some hard pack ice cream. Yummy. What else? Oh, is this the burger place? Oh, okay, cool. And then french fries and chicken fingers as well. Oh no, I came in the wrong side. They have some gluten-free stuff here too. These are allergen-free, top five allergy, for, top nine allergen-free. These are my favorite brownies. Sweet Treat Manifesto gluten-free brownies. I'm not gluten-free, but those are delicious. There is a refrigerator where you can get beers and wines and soft drinks and juices, milk, things like that. A, an entire bottle of wine if you'd like. They also have some salads in here. Some fresh fruit and fruit parfaits. Pickle in a pouch. Love to see it. And they have some like a whiskey spritz here. A wine spritz. What is this? A live wire? 
and a Bloody Mary, as well as at least one craft beer in this Cigar City Highlight. We got some seltzers, hard seltzers, and hard ciders, and then the typical selection of beers. Let's see what else we got over here. Shrimp and grits, macaroni and cheese. Ooh, yeah, and here's the pizzas right here. Delicious looking pizzas and some breadsticks too. Ooh, you can get an entire large pepperoni pizza for 20 bucks. That's not bad for that size pizza that I just showed you. Pretty good. Oh, Creatron entree. Moho roasted chicken, panko crusted salmon, barbecue braised beef. I don't need to select two sides. This sounds delicious. Chicken looks good. Ooh, everything else is covered up, so we can't see it. Ooh, what's this though? Impossible meatloaf? Jambalaya and gumbo? Ooh, fantastic. There's also a whole rack of refillable mugs here, and you have to get these activated. So those refillable mugs are called Rapid Fill. Enjoy refills of fountain drinks, coffee, and tea at any resort self-service beverage location for the entire length of your stay for $21.99. So you buy this mug for $21.99 and you can refill it anywhere. Uh, I'm gonna need to check if it's just this resort or if it's a, any resort for free for $21.99. So I just checked, you can refill this at any resort, you just can't refill it in the parks. So, a little bit of a caveat to it. They also have an assortment of chips and cereals and fresh fruit over here. And then we've got quick grab, grab and go type things like Pop-Tarts, Nutri-Grain bars, Mickey <laughs> Mickey Rice Krispie Treats, Mickey Premium Bars, Mickey Ice Cream Sandwiches, and uh, Fruit Bars down here. And so for lunch, I think I'm gonna try the Bayou Amber Ale Burger. Sounds interesting. I just noticed they had some bottles of wine over here next to where they're serving the burgers. This one is $50. Frontier Red, I think it's 21. This Natura is 16. And just a glass here of this Copa de Vina is $10. So this is the Bayou Amber Ale Burger. I added bacon to it, but it comes with spicy shredded prime rib and amber ale cheese sauce on a toasted brioche bun served with french fries. And it was $13.49. Probably the most interesting thing about that is it didn't cost any extra to add the bacon. So I got bacon on it. There are so many windows all around this dining hall. I think the best lighting I've ever had for any video ever. All right, let's give this thing a try. It is messy, for sure. You got some french fries stuck to it. A lot smaller than I was anticipating, but still, looks pretty good. I like this bacon. Let me get this bacon out of the way first. Crispy, typical Disney bacon. I like it. Good. All right, let's get a bite of it. With the bacon and everything. I mean, that's a pretty good burger. It is kind of like a, still a quick service burger. The main patty milk, and like in the middle is still a quick service burger from Disney. But they've added so many things to it, that kind of elevates it a lot. I have the bacon, which elevated it even more. This cheese, the amber ale cheese, is very good. It also said that the prime rib was spicy. I'm getting zero spice out of it. There's not spicy at all. There's a good burger. Not the best burger I've ever had, but still, nice, decent burger. I would eat it again. If I were staying here, this would be my go-to burger. Right here in the center of the restaurant is where you get your condiments and utensils and napkins. They also have a mug wash, so you can wash out your cup that you got, your refillable mug that we just talked about. They have ice machines with a water dispenser here. This is potable water, you can drink this water. They have a hot cocoa machine. They have all of these different Cokes, Diet Cokes, Fanta, Sprite, High C, different kinds of drinks available, different condiments, hot tea available, where you just push you know, water, or if you want to get hot water out of this, or you can get iced tea, sweet or unsweetened, more Coke machines, and then of course, coffee over here as well. Came over to get a closer look at this water wheel. It's very large and we can see some of the workings of it right here. Spinning. The larger gears, the spinning this huge beam up here that travels all the way across the restaurant and then turns that roof up there. Over here at the bakery, you can also get like a ham and cheese sandwich or a pimento BLT. Oh man, I should have gotten that pimento BLT. That sounds delicious. What a Mediterranean curry chickpea salad. That sounds great. This is where you go if you have 
dietary needs over here at this pickup and then all the way over to the right of the sandwiches salads and sandwiches section is a mobile order pickup as well as restrooms back there i did also want to get a pan up so you guys could see how massive this room is just looking up it's a, a very large dining hall and then if we turn in this direction now we are headed back towards back through boat rights back to where we first came into the resort. So we're back in the front vestibule and we just came from this food and drink hallway. Now we're gonna check out the River Roost. Spirits and victuals. I don't know what that is. What are victuals? Give you kind of a description of what's happening over here at the River Roost. Yeehaw Bob comes 8.30 to 12 a.m. Wednesday through Saturday. And they have lounge bites, spinach and artichoke, artichoke dip, a full bar available from 5 p.m. to 12 p.m. Our southern hurricane will blow you away. Let's go have a look around in here. This is their lobby bar, basically. And this kind of has the theme of the spot where everybody's luggage is. Maybe you're like waiting for your arrival to show up. And what's coming in on that steamship? Oh, look, you could get sorghum coming in from Cairo. And this is, of course, where Yeehaw Bob performs up on this piano right here. Of course, a lot of people just use this area before it opens as a bar. Kind of just like a relaxing area to sit in, maybe read a book, do some work. It's air conditioned. It's a little bit quiet. And it's a little bit secluded. And then, and then, of course, back out into the vestibule. And directly to the left is Fulton's General Store. And like we said, this is the door that we came in from. And we could see this from the bus stop when we first arrived. Fulton's General Store. Hours of operation, 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. As soon as we walk in, press Penny Machine with Tigger and Pooh and Eeyore. What else do they have in here? All kinds of Disney merchandise, all those kinds of stuff for the Disney 100. This is a very large gift shop, too. So if you're looking for a souvenir during your stay here, it'd be a good spot to come. You can also get some Cafe Dumont coffee and chicory here in the gift shop. I also have various snacks and donuts and such. Uh, popcorn over there. Fresh fruit. Champagnes and wines. Chips. Anything you might have forgotten at home. Deodorant, solo cane, aloe, uh, pads, pull-ups, tampons. Mucinex. Pedialyte, a good thing to have around organic soy milk over here and baby food oh actually i'm not seeing any like formula baby formula they do have baby bottles but i don't think that this is infant nutrition so this oh yeah infant formula right there they have one thing of infant formula the whole thing of beers and wines lunchables milks peanut butter and jelly and peanut butter and jelly and bread two liter bottles of soda and more chips they also have full bottles of liquor back here you can get moonshine this is interesting there's a sign here that says that florida law prohibits the possession or sale of unstamped cigarettes do they sell cigarettes back here i've never asked anybody find out i did find out they do sell cigarettes here they just don't have them on display look at that there you are couple of different bands and some lighters back there too hmm there's also a box for you to mail more mail from right here like a regular mailbox and of course ice cream and this one oh there's a, a dressing room even like a fitting room this specific gift shop has way more stuff than most of the other gift shops at the resorts that i've seen there's just a lot a lot of stuff oh look it's like it packages like the theming here that's where it's at. Yeah, the registers are like where you would pick up your packages. Not actually pick up your packages, but the theming is this is where packages would be in the general store. And there's a pin trading board back there. Some of the things that I'm seeing a lot of in the theming around here is flowers. Flowers all over the place. Let's see, what is this? Theme park. What year did the first Disney theme park open? Ooh. What is the name of the newest Disney theme park? 
What was the previous park icon for Disney's Hollywood studio that was removed in early 2015? These are good questions. What Walt Disney World theme park has a monorail running through it? What park icon it was decorated as a birthday cake and for what year? What is the name of the park icon at Animal Kingdom Park and how many animals are represented on it? That's, that's a tough one. What is the name of the park icon at Epcot and how many panels cover it? Ooh, difficult, difficult questions. I like it. Another press penny machine over here. We've got Prince, Jasmine, and uh, Steamboat Willie. I like that his name is just Prince. And it's Walt Disney's Princes. This is Prince. Well, they also sell a very large variety of luggage just in case you need to pack an extra bag because you've got too many souvenirs while you were here. I also specifically like these three shirts. They're $25 a piece if you buy two of them. If you're just buying one, they're $29.99. This, I've never seen this before. This is a flannel shirt. Is it a pajama set? I think it's a pajama set. Look at that, it comes with the pants and everything. Flannel pajamas for $60. It's got Horace Horse Collar, Clarabelle Cow, Goofy, Daisy, Pluto, Mickey, Chip and Dale, Minnie. I'm sure Mickey's on the other. Yeah, he is Mickey. Where's Donald? There he is, Donald. That's just. These are heavy too. This is a heavy set. There are Fish in the Day Away, Port Orleans Resort shirts. I like this. Mickey's out there fishing with Pluto. And then there are beignets. Oh, they're scented like beignets. I can smell them from here. Wow. They're lounge fly scented ears. And these are $44.99. And they're very scented. I don't know if there's just so many of them here that I can smell them from out here, but it's quite pungently. They just put out these Princess Tiana spirit jerseys. It says, love what you do, do what you love. And there she is, Tiana. Very neat. And this is a spirit jersey. It says Princess Tiana on the front. We've got a little bit of motion here in the center of the store because Huey, Dewey, and Louie Causing a little bit of ruckus out here. Trying to lift up this crate. Yeah, because they're helping with the shipments here at Fulton's General Store. And they have already accidentally dropped one on Donald's head. Oh man. All right, back at the front door and back in the vestibule. And we are turning and heading straight out the back door. Let's do some exploring outside. So off to the left, we've got Alligator Bayou 14 through 38, Magnolia Bend 80 and 85, Old Man Island. And off to the right, we've got Oak Manor 90 and Patre Place 95. Let's go have a look at the map so we can figure out where we're gonna start from. So we're here at Port Orleans Riverside and you can see by comparison to French Quarter, Riverside is much larger. So we are here. I think we're gonna start out in the marina and I don't know where to start I guess we'll just head out what's the running trail how long is this running trail that we're doing here 0.7 miles for just this little thing right here okay we can do that we can do it I believe in us so what we'll do is we'll start out by going over to this building right here and the marina area and then we'll head in this direction around and we'll have a look at everything and then eventually we will head back to check out the pool on Old Man Island. It just started to rain. Oh dear, I got, got a splatter right on the top of my head. So we'll see how we do staying dry on this video. So initially we're going to make a right and head over here. And then we will make our way back in this direction. And we've got Old Man Island out here. And we're going to be heading in that direction to look at some of the buildings. But like I said, first we'll head over here to recreation and the entrance to the boat that could take you over to Disney Springs. Couple of things of note right here. We have a sun tracker that is outfitted for takemefishing.org. And if you'd like to, you can have a guide take you out fishing on the Sasagula River. We've done this between Hollywood Studios and Epcot, sort of near the Swan and Dolphin. And we'll put a link to that video down below the like button here in the description. And of course you could rent Surrey bikes or regular bikes to get around the resort. This is one of my favorite things to do as a kid is whatever resort we were staying at, get a Surrey bike or just rent a bike to kind of tool around, hang out, get the lay of the land and see what you could find as you made your way around the resort. Couple of water towers up here leading you to the river cruise entrance. 
This is Disney Transport to Disney Springs starting at 10 a.m. running through 10.30 p.m. You get on a boat and it'll take you over to Disney Springs. This is the Riverside Levee, Bikes for Hire. Hey, how's it going? So this is the marina and bike rental here. We've got, you can rent for $9 for an hour. You can rent a bicycle over for $18 for a day. A fireworks cruise? Oh, where does it take you? We're starting at $3.99. Cane pole fishing, Surrey bike, guided bass fishing excursions, starting at $235. Also, here at the recreation building, they have a pin trading board. Should be noted, they did just stop service on the boats to Disney Springs, so now you have to take a bus over to Disney Springs because of the wind and the rain that is about to happen right now. So, we are going to head this way, and we're not going to go out to Old Man Island. We're going to turn left and have a look at some of the buildings around before heading to Old Man Island. There's also this little kind of cutout section here directly across from the vestibule area that we've been going to and kind of right outside of boat rights. That is for horse-drawn carriage rides. $55 for adults or two adults and three children. For advanced reservation, you can book it on the My Disney Experience or you can call for same day reservations. $55 from 5.30 to 9.30. Starting to get a little windy. Yeah, it looks like they have locked off the boats now because of the rain and the wind coming in. The Sasagula Steamboat Company back there again. Oh, I like this little like cutout at the very tippy top up here. It's like a balcony. There's no way to get to that, but it's cool theming. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave the Riverside Mill. We're gonna try to make it over to some of the other buildings. Have a look around. Ooh, they're fighting the wind. So this bridge would lead us over to Old Man Island, but we are making a left just around the river mill. As we make our way around the Riverside Mill and Market, you can see here is the water wheel right here. So I'm interested to figure out how this is working. It is, there's like a little tiny waterfall right there. The water's running from here and it is powering this huge wheel. This isn't a powered wheel and this wheel is powering, spinning that roof inside. But they are using an electric pump to pump this water up to this little waterway here. All right, so as we get to the other side of the food court, I did also want to mention that in the food court, there's a little kids area right here where they're showing cartoons. When I was in there, they were watching Kif, and then later turned to Big City Greens. And now we're heading towards the rooms that you would stay in. These are the guest rooms. And the guest rooms are split up into different sections, and each different section has a different theme to it. So this one feels like a more rustic, almost like a mountain cabin type feel to it, but it's more of a, kind of like the rest of Louisiana, as opposed to just on the bayou. And these sections are called the lodges. As we're starting to get further and further into the property, starting to feel a little bit more backwoods on the river feel. And this is where it gets confusing to me, at least. These are called lodges. Like this is Lodge 14, but then when you look at it, is Alligator Bayou 14. I do like that they give you a little like picture on top so you can tell you're an alligator, building 14. And this is Alligator Bayou 18. So I guess this section of the property is the Alligator Bayou and each one of these are the lodges. So like that's Lodge 18, this is Lodge 14. Hmm. As we progress around, we'll learn a little bit more about that I'm assuming. Now we are continuing our way around the river and we'll, hey, eventually we'll make it just around the river bend. See, and yes, even more confusion persists. So this is still Alligator Bayou, and this is still Alligator Bayou. So, the style has changed. We're going from kind of like a wilderness lodge looking thing to more of a, I don't know, it feels a little bit more islandy to me with the metal roof and the straight railings, but the color's just not right. The color's brown rather than like a blue or a green for the islands. Haha. -ha. Our questions have been answered with a sign. They're called Alligator Bayou Lodges. Okay, there you go. We've come to a fork in the road. I'm gonna just kind of peek back here, take a quick trip, quick jaunt down this little path here. I like that it looks like a boardwalk, but it is made out of concrete. Just to have a look at some of the buildings back here. I also like the theming of the lamps. They look like kerosene lamps. I'm sure they're not. I'm sure they're just, you know, typical LEDs. But, I like the way that they look like they are kerosene or gas lamps lighting the way. Glad that I came down here. I didn't realize how many buildings were this far back. 
We got lodges 26 and 24 and 25. We got 27 over here. We're getting deeper and deeper into the woods too. Oh, and we can see some of the ones that look more like the wilderness lodge style back there through the trees. There was also a sign that said that there was pool and laundry in this direction. Let's see what we can find. Some little man-made waterways back here. Interesting. I wonder if there were fish in here at some point. Seems like a great spot to put some some fish, local wildlife in there, maybe some turtles. Okay, just seeing it now. We've got some cypress trees. This is a man-made piece of water, but it's supposed to look like a swamp. Like we're walking through the actual bayou itself here in Alligator Bayou. This is kind of mind blowing, like how far I've walked. I'm like way back into the property now. And I was kind of thinking I was gonna stay closer to Old Man Island, but I'm not, I'm just like, I'm out here. Out in the woods. Now if we continue to walk, we will end up at the West Bus Depot. But I wanted to stop off at the pool first. This is a it's a pretty big like space wise pool. It goes from three feet down to five feet. There is a wheelchair lift to put you into the pool if you'd like to. Lots and lots of seating around. Complimentary life jackets. And then back here, oh there's a shower too. And then out back here. There's guest laundry, but how do I get to that guest laundry? I can see the sign for it right there, but it's behind a fence for me. So I'm assuming, oh yeah, you can walk around and get to it. And these are the bathrooms back here with some water fountains and an automated external defibrillator. I did also want to mention that the main pool on Old Man Island is shut down right now because there are lifeguards at that pool. And there are no lifeguards at this pool. So people are still swimming in it, even though there is lightning in the area and thunder somewhat close by like it's not raining yet but there's a big storm coming so here at alligator bayou 24 if you kind of just follow it around there's a pathway over here that leads to the guest laundry i think i've made it the furthest around to the west that i can be we've got the west bus depot over the west depot for buses is over here I see a sign that says bus stop out this way is it another really long pathway to get to the buses let's see how long it is wow this is quite the hike to get to the buses. And also, I didn't realize how big and confusing this resort is. You can kind of see we're probably about halfway down the path from the buildings to the bus stop. And it's still going. Maybe we're not halfway. Where is this bus stop? Ooh, there it is. It's quite the hike from Alligator Bayou, but I can understand the appeal of that because I'm starting to hear road noise now, whereas I couldn't hear road noise before all the way back by the buildings, which is like road noise being blocked by all of these trees. And I couldn't hear the buses, but now I can. There it is, there's the bus stop. And you see there's another pathway over here. Let's take that pathway and see where it leads us. There's a sign here that's telling you when the next bus is and it seems to be a little bit broken right now because it's not telling you when the next bus for Magic Kingdom, Epcot or Hollywood Studios is coming. All right, so yeah, we're still in Alligator Bayou, walking back. It's quite the hike to the bus stop from the other Alligator Bayou buildings. This one seems a little bit more manageable. Walking back up to the Wilderness Lodge feel again. Got a little bit of different feel to it though. We're starting to get some brick added in there. Maybe I didn't notice the brick before. But yeah, we can see the two different styles of Alligator Bayou Lodges here. The metal roof versus the shingle roof. Another thing that should be noted is that if you are unable to use steps, like stairs, you will be put on the first floor. There are no elevators that go up to the second floor, just as like an FYI. All right, so we're still in Alligator Bayou. I wish I could see a map to know where I'm at, because I don't really know. So I think that if I went this way, that would lead me back to that pool that we were just at. Let's find out, let's find out really quick. But also note that some of the buildings do have a few steps up to the first floor in some areas. There are other areas around front that have a ramp, but if you're coming off the bus and this is one of your buildings, you'll have to go all the way around the building to get to the ramp. Okay, yes. So, the pool is right over there. That's where we came from. This is the bus stop sign that we saw. We walked down there to get to the bus stop. Just a big loop around this pack of trees here. So now, instead of making a left where the bus stop sign was, we had made a right to head in this direction. I'm gonna open up Google Maps just to have a look and see where we're at. In today's game of Never Have I Ever, never have I ever had to pull out Google Maps to figure out my way around a Disney resort. 
Holy macaroni. Look at all these different ways that you could go. Like all these little pathways. All these different directions. Holy macaroni. So, we're trying to find this pool right here. There's just a lot, a lot going on there. Still in the Alligator Bayou area. We're turning left now. Trying to find the next pool. See if we can make it into another section of this resort. More man-made sections of swamp here. This one's bubbling. Oh, is that the other pool? All right, I think we found something. I see some umbrellas. Oh, don't fool me this time, North Depot. I'm gonna look at the map and see how far away it is. There's another pool over here though. Still, Alligator Bayou. Alligator Bayou 35? And what building is this? Alligator Bayou 39. Let's see what this pool looks like. I like them because they're very reminiscent of the different man-made swamp sections here too. Like the one that we just saw that was bubbling had this same sort of shape to it. So it feels like you're swimming in a local swimming hole. Of course, bathrooms and everything over there. And that building also contains the laundry for this area. Okay, I looked at the map. It doesn't seem like it's too far to get to the bus depot here, the north bus depot, and also easy to get to the laundry. So I'm just passing by the laundry. Let's see if I can go inside. It might require a room key to get in, but we'll test the door, see if we can get inside. If not, we'll look through the window. Oh, there's a parking lot out here too. So I would, this is what I would be doing. Or no, I guess I wouldn't. I'd want to be closer to the front, like the main lobby, right? Because you're pretty far away from the food options for this resort. Let's see if I can get in. It says you must use a key card to get in. Is it unlocked? Oh yeah, I got his key. We can kind of see inside there a little bit though. You can see there are some, a lot of laundry machines. And a vending machine for some, what is that? For some, <laughs> some snacks and some laundry detergent over there. Now where's the bus stop? Where's the bus depot? All right. Also these, these buildings feel like they're gonna be a little bit louder because they are closer to a road out there. I can hear some traffic. So if you're out here facing the parking lot, although it will be easier to get your luggage to your room, it's gonna be a little bit louder. Also, it's kind of bizarre that this parking lot's empty, right? Is nobody, is this just this resort not full right now? Is there nobody staying out in these buildings? And another thing is kind of silly how far away the North Depot is. I'm gonna see if I can zoom in on it for you guys. You guys see the building just past that sign there? That's a good distance to walk for a bus stop. All right, trying to find our way back to another section of this resort. We're still in Alligator Bayou. A lot of buildings out here, but yeah, it kind of feels like there's nobody in them at the moment. Oh, that one has a light on in it, so maybe there is. Yeah, I feel like you need a paper map, at least at first, to find your way around this place. So I think I'm heading this way because I, I want to not try not to backtrack too much and keep moving in one general direction. So if I come out here and then I turn right, that'll lead me back to the river. And we're starting to see a glimpse of a new style that is not Alligator Bayou. Are we finding a new section of this resort? Time will only tell. But they are, Mousekeeping is out here doing rooms at Alligator Bayou 38. So I'm guessing they are still have people in them out here. Well, we've made it back to the river. You can see there is a sign here that says Lobby Dining and Old Man Island, please use alternate path. I don't know what that means. Cause I'm gonna go this way. But like, wh what's the alternate path? That's, th that's just a normal path, right? Sign, you are, you're very confusing. Oh, it sort of sounds like they're working on the bridge over there. Okay, I understand now. All right, there we go. All right, this is it. A new section of the resort. Wow, the Acadian house. We did it, everybody. We made it to a different section of the resort. And look at that. We're out of the woods, we're out of the bayou, we're out of the swamp, and we're in to fancy town. Look at that. Swamp, wilderness, it's fancy town. Wow, all right, we did it. I feel like the last time that I was here, I didn't even see those buildings over there. I just saw all these buildings. Like these kind of colonial style of three-story buildings. I also like that they have hitching posts out front. It's great. I am seeing a lot of stairs though. A lot of stairs. So as we make our way around the area that is the Acadian house area, see if we can find the pool and the laundry here. 
So yeah, we can hear they're doing construction on this bridge that leads over to Old Man Island. That's why they're saying, please use alternate path. Because this bridge, currently down for remodeling or repairs, possibly. Okay. There is a ramp type walkway up to the Acadian house right here for first floor access. Looks like that's the pool there. How do I get to it? I can see it, but how do I get to it? Should I go this way? Let's go this way. One thing I wanted to point out is there's a lot of huge magnolia trees and pine trees. We're not seeing any cypress or swamp features in this area. The Acadian house. Oh yeah, there's a little pathway over to the pool right here. Another thing I wanted to point out was these chandeliers here that are all tied off with chains. And I wondered, is this a southern thing? Is this for wind and hurricanes? Make sure that the, the glass doesn't bang into anything. Ooh, these pools feel bigger over here. Wow, and they're just rectangular pools, but feel a little bit fancier. This is interesting, the change in the dynamic and the feel of the different sections of Port Orleans Riverside. Arbors over here, lots and lots of seating. The pool deck is bigger. You got a laundry area over there, bathrooms. Of course, another wheelchair access seat, complimentary life vests. And this pool is big. Goes from five feet down to three feet, just like the other ones. But this one is just big and square or rectangular with a little bump out here and a roundy bit where the stairs are. Also, a couple of tables with umbrellas as well. Once again, no lifeguard on duty here. I feel like I said this before too, but these buildings have grand staircases out front. Like you could take your, come here and take your prom pictures or something. A little bit of a different style too. In this next one, we're starting to see brick and green and white, some grand staircases. All right, let's head around the front. So we're just on the other side of the pool. That was the first Arcadian house that we saw. Is this Arcadian house still, or is this another house? Let's find out, let's get to the front of it. So it is, it is a new section called Magnolia Terrace. So, Acadian house down there, Magnolia Terrace here. It was only two stories at this section. Is it three, it's three stories a little bit further down, wasn't it? And then this is the walkway that is under remodel right now. They're fixing it up. So, let's keep walking past Magnolia Terrace, making our way around Old Man Island there on the other side of the Sasagula River. Yeah, three stories back there. And look at this, I'm telling you guys, wedding photos, prom pictures, like just come out here and take a portrait. Why don't you? Look at this shot, straight down there. Beautiful, a little crookedy, but beautiful. Looking straight across the Sasagula now, we can start to see some of the main lobby buildings there and boat rights and the dining hall. More hitching posts too. Oh, we're coming up on another building. I like this. So now that we're out on this section, I don't need the maps. I can see the buildings are huge, but they're straightforward. They're shaped like an H. So it's easy to figure out. When we were back there in Alligator Bayou, whew, it was winding, tangly like the bayou. Coming up on another section called Oak Manor. I like the theming of this one, the brick with the white and the blue. It's cool. I like it, and the chimneys, and the little cupola on top. Like I said, these buildings are shaped like H's, so you can kind of see it. there's one of the legs, there's the cross member, another one of the legs over here, and then it continues on the other side of the cross member to make an H from above. What, uh, what are we looking at here? All these princess things here. Got a trident. We've got Princess Tiana, Cinderella, Snow White. Hmm, I'm interested what this is all about. Now, I did ask about a scavenger hunt when I first got here. And they said at the recreation place, they're currently not doing any scavenger hunts at any Walt Disney World Resort. Now, take that with a grain of salt. It might be happening somewhere else. This might just be the big scavenger hunt. There might be a smaller one somewhere at some of the other Resorts always ask at the front desk or at recreation when you get there if you're interested in doing a scavenger hunt For here, there's not one because it was for the 50th and since the 50th is over They're not doing that scavenger hunt anymore, and there's not a new one for the hundredth anniversary of the studio 
So right now there's no scavenger hunts and I'm wondering, were these banners part of the scavenger hunt or were they for something else? There's a lot of them in this area. Each one of these light poles in this grass area has a banner on it. I don't know, this is a nice fountain too. I like this building, it's very nice. And this grass area is also very nice. I can imagine like if you wanted to, you could bring a blanket out, have a picnic in the middle of the day, especially right now. Like it's, it's not sunny out, it's breezy right here. It feels fantastic. It didn't rain, I thought it was gonna rain all day. Coming up on the next section, oh this is still Oak Manor. This was Oak Manor before, right? Yeah, Oak Manor. Oh buddy, I've gotten myself confused. I think it's Oak Manor, there's another pool back here. Let's have a look at this pool. Another big square pool, lots of seating, like loungers, there's another laundry room back there, there's another bathrooms, complimentary life vest, wheelchair entry, same exact pool as the other side. So, got two options for pools on this side of the resort. So that pool was in between Oak Manor and Partery Place. And we have another bridge that leads you over to Sasakula Steamboat Company or the main lobby right here. Just jaunt right over and get to the main lobby and all the food options over there. We're going to continue down this path, make our way to the last bridge before crossing over. So I know that I said that all these buildings were shaped like an H. This one is an exception. It kind of comes down this way and then it goes back that way. Kind of like a huge C shape with a couple little tails. It has this very nice little courtyard right here and we're seeing more princess names here we got rose red tiana bell briar rose what is what's the the idea with the princesses also I'm telling you guys wedding photos there's like a a throne at the end down there you could sit in for a portrait wow let's go have a closer look at that i like this little like rose garden out here it really is wild to me how much hotter it is over here on at these buildings than it was back in alligator bayou the sun's just beaten down over here it's hot oh that breeze feels nice though look at this yeah, it's like a giant chair at the end here perfect for photos huh wonder what it's for when we go back because we got to go back over towards the lobby i'm gonna ask what it's all about why is there a throne here? Why are these banners with the princess names on them? What's going on? So there you have it. That was the last of the guest buildings here at Port Orleans Riverside. Now, we're headed down to the bridge, walking across, heading back towards the lobby, going a little bit past, and heading over to Old Man Island. Gotta take a look at Old Man Island. There's no other way to say it, other than saying Old Man Island. Did also want to mention that each one of those larger building units had a parking lot behind it but I didn't see any signs for bus stops. Let me look on the map again. All right, we've made it back to the other side of the river. And we're all the way back at where we first started. There's the Medicine Show Arcade right there. And this is the Riverside Levee Bicycles for Hire Recreation Building. Just outside of the Medicine Show Arcade and the lobby, like this is the hallway that we walked down to get to the arcade right here. They're doing Mickey tie-dye. Ooh, Sasagula slime time, what does that mean? Wow, so $17 plus tax. And these are some examples of some shirts that could be made. Very cool. And we're back, lobby is right behind us. Here's the boat coming back from Disney Springs. They're not tied off anymore. Blue skies are coming through. Blue skies and sunshine, guaranteed. All right, back at the Riverside Mill. And originally, we turned left here at the end of the building. Now. We're going straight across this bridge on Old Man Island. And through and through the magic of Disney, as soon as you step foot on this island, you turn into an old man. Oh, not cool, Disney. I feel young at heart. Does that joke make sense? I was saying I already am an old man. Fish and Hole Playground down here. Magnolia Bend, Muddy Rivers. I think Magnolia Bend was that area over there where those bigger buildings were. Got some a list of recreation activities over here. Movies Under the Stars at 8.30 p.m. Moana, The Lion King, Princess and the Frog, and Toy Story. And they have another list of activities. Poolside activities on Old Man Island. Bayou Bash Dance Party. 
at the back porch. Where's the back porch? Bayou Bag Toss? This is, there's so much stuff going on. All right, let's have a look around the island. There it is. Old Man Island. Oh, there's the legend of Old Man Island. Settled in 1835 by a young man, the island became his home in the solitude of the Bayou country. Years later, as Riverside was settled and prospered, Old Man Island was discovered by the children of the town. They would steal away to play on the island where a wondrous world had been created. The island is a tribute to the old man and the happiness he gave the children and all of Riverside's neighbors. Okay. Oh, what a fun pool. Well, this is amazing. There's all kinds of stuff here. There's a big pool here. There's a little kiddie pool over here, like a, just a waiting pool. There's like a, a slide back there. There's a hot tub over here. Stuff everywhere. Lots and lots of loungers, waterfalls everywhere. All throughout here. You gotta see one right there. Lots of stuff to do at this pool. Also, I like this. This is a shower. Do not place chairs in this area. You might get wet. I like that it looks like a giant cistern though. Yeah. Waterfalls and a slide and everything up there. There's a pool bar back here called Muddy Rivers. Looks like an old fishing lodge. Bathrooms over here. Let's see what we've got here. Froze and a hurricane. Captain's Mai Tai. All that jazz. I like this non-alcoholic section. Lava smoothie, bullfrog brew. Ooh, all of it sounds so delicious and interesting. Man, you can get Mickey pretzels out here. I just stopped at the bar and asked if they had any food here. He said they have some pre-made sandwiches. He said they have like a ham and cheese sandwich and like a chicken Caesar salad, things like that. There's just basically like three options, but the food court's not far away. You can mobile order and then bring it over here and eat at these tables around muddy waters. Oh, there's also a water bottle filler here. I like that they put a couple of Disney cups on top. You could fill them up here and drink it so you don't have to drink out of the water fountain. So now we're leaving muddy rivers and the pool out here and we're making our way around the rest of the island. There is a ramp over here to get up to muddy rivers so if you can't do the stairs there is accessibility. There's a sign over here that says fishing hole down this way. Let's have a look at the fishing hole. Oh catch bass and brim at the fishing hole, but it's closed off right now. Let's see what it says for hours. Hours, 7 a.m. to 1.45, just missed it. Last poll's out at 1.15, $6.39 for a half an hour per poll, or $15.98 for a half hour for the family special. Includes tax, pole, bait, and dock time. So this is like a little lagoon on the island that is stocked. I'm assuming, with bass and brim. Looks like you catch a largemouth bass, a bluegill, a catfish, or yellowfish? What does it say? I can't read it, what that last one says. Should also be noted that there are hammocks all around this island. Look at how peaceful this is, too. You could nap out here. Easy. Looks like this bridge is leading us off the island to Alligator Bayou. So we're not going off the island. We're staying on. See if I can figure out if there's something else past the pool the other way. I do wish that we had gotten here a little bit earlier so that we could get a little bit better look at this fishing hole out here. You can kind of see the dock through the trees there. Seems like it'd be a fun little activity to do while you're here on vacation. Just tossing a, tossing a bobber out, catching some fish in a stocked pond. Catch and release. There's another sign here. We're back at the backside of Muddy Rivers, the pool bar. And it says playground is back here. So we're gonna make our way around this way so we can see what the playground looks like. Oh, okay, this is also where the campfire is, where they would do s'mores. It says, campfire on the bayou, held nightly from 6 to 7 p.m. So nice little seating area over here and a fire pit. And right now, Muddy Waters is directly behind me. So there it is, the pool bar is right there. Now we're coming up on Old Man Island Playground. And we've got some, what do you guys call this? Like bag toss or cornhole? Shark Fest on Disney Plus and Hulu. So there's Muddy Rivers right there. We're on the other side of the pool. You can see the slide right here. It's just kind of like a quick back and forth type slide. And then directly behind me here is the playground. There's some kids playing on it right now. Looks like a lot of fun. Some slides, some climbing structures, things like that. Another hammock over here. On Earth Day 1991, this majestic live oak was placed in its new home before you. 
This oak and its companion at the entrance to Disney's Port Orleans Resort Riverside each weighed 85 tons and were transplanted in a wooden box from a wooded location 13 miles away. Cypress boxes 22 foot square were constructed around and beneath each oak and after months of preparation the transportation took three days. Old Man Island was then constructed around this oak as you see it now. What? So this was the first thing on the island was this old live oak. Where did it come from? Why? Why? Like I don't understand. Why move a tree on Earth Day? Alright, I did some quick research on this Earth Day 1991 fact. And so, Port Orleans, which was originally called Dixie Landings, opened in 1992. So, this all was being built in 1991. And Earth Day was just a nice day to bring a tree over from a different location in order to theme this whole island Old Man Island. And Dixie Landing, or Dixie Landings, was just the Alligator Bayou section. So all these other buildings are new, except for the lobby. I'm sure the lobby was there too. But the Alligator Bayou section was original Dixie Landing. So that's the oldest section of the resort. And then all of the Magnolia Bend stuff is all new. Also, I think the kids left the playground. So let's have a quick look at the playground. So it looks like we got two different sections of playground. We've got a littler one over here. For the smaller kids and then we got a big one over here i like that they kind of loosely loosely themed it like a steamboat paddle wheeler so you got a paddle wheel at the back back here and then yeah, it's just loose loose like i said loose just this one spot with the paddle wheel looking thing and you got some rocks as well it's just a typical playground also it's a nice soft padded rubberized mulch here and some benches in the shade for the parents to watch. Ooh, this little climbing structure looks like a real rock. Wow, that's fun. Huh, yeah, fun little playground over here. Really am digging the vibe of this resort, but it is massive, really, really huge. Oh, there's nobody in the little kiddie pool right now. So we can get a good view of the little wading pool over here. So very, very shallow. Kind of like a splashing pool. Yeah, I am digging the vibe of this area, but very, very large resort. It will take quite a bit to get around. Uh, I don't think that I would want to stay here if I was planning on going to the parks all the time, especially in the summer when it's like rainy and hot. You, you, you're done at two o'clock. Like you wake up, do rope drop, go to the parks. You're all getting hot. It starts getting hot. You get to the hottest part of the day. It's two o'clock. You're like, oh, let's just go back to the resort. You get on the bus on the way back to the resort huge storm builds and as soon as you get to your stop downpour and then you got to walk back to your room wherever that is on this piece of property on this gigantic piece of property so not a fan of that but i do like the vibe of the resort my goodness i always heard this phrase in cartoons but i just looked it up this v word right here that i said was victuals it's not it's vittles like uh, vittles, food. I always heard cartoon characters being like, let's go get some vittles. I love me some vittles. That's that word right there. Had no idea. Wow. I learned something new today. Potables, vittles, libations, spirits. Wow. Okay, so we did miss one bus stop. So we went to the west bus stop. We saw the north bus stop. We didn't see the east bus stop which was just outside of Magnolia Terrace. And then there is another South bus stop here, right in front of the main lobby. Before we leave, I wanted to mention one more thing. If you happen to see this RV, the Disney 100 RV, driving around or stopped somewhere, be sure to stick around, because you never know who might be coming out of this RV. There he is. There's Donald. Wow. And he's got his Disney 100 stuff on. And there's Pluto. And there's Goofy with his hat in his hand. Amazing. Let's see. He puts it on. Fits like a glove. Beautiful. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I like it. Thank you guys. Perfect.
<laughs> Bye. Have fun walking around. That's why I say, if you see this bus, be sure to stop and see what's going on. They might be around the resort. Like they were just going for a walk around the riverside. They might be inside. Ask somebody, find out where they're at. Go get your picture taken with the characters. All right, so there you have it. That was our trip out to Port Orleans Riverside. Like I said, I really like the vibe of this resort, but it is very, very gigantic. A lot of good food options, a lot of interesting things to see, and very, like a, a, a lot of pools, actually. Uh, this resort feels just as big as Caribbean Beach, and Caribbean Beach is huge. But yeah, there you have it. That was our full comprehensive tour walk around Port Orleans Riverside. Stay tuned because we will be doing more updated tours of the different Disney resorts around. So keep an eye out on the channel for that. And but all in all, it was a good day. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.